Hey there game makers and welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're going to use and abuse the panorama FX layer or well the effect itself which I thought like mm, what can I use it for well kind of an interesting thing what you see right now and this dude here so this is kind of a surprise by accident effect so if you want to do that and you want to see how that stuff is all being created and how you can stylize kind of this you know this more which is going into the center then stick around this is wanna bindi i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course alrighty so without further ado let's go into the thing and just deactivate everything which we don't need so first of all just for reference i just put into a controller which is doing um all the changing of the panorama effect and then let's go into the panorama effect and just null it and then recreate it panorama, panorama, where are you do, 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 do. and as you can see this is how that works out and we just apply a different image so for example our three guys here and what we're gonna do is well just change the x value and this is uh, for the rotation but of course this is a little bit silly you want to have it around the center so we just do something like this now the y value and we got ourselves a circular movement and then for example if we just update the x value we wrote it and then well we set it to zero and then we can kind of loop it and rotate it all the time so how do we do the more movement well we just play around with that dude here and just uh, well do something like this and change here the value perspective up and down and then we can have a more movement going in and out and then to make it a little bit nicer i just created an animation curve which um, goes quickly in and then uh, slower out so this is just for the effect and of course play around to your liking little caveat if you apply an image something like this you will definitely get a pop-up because uh, it says like hey it has to have a separate texture page and you need to click on this dude here because on default it's not and if you just do it without well, it will not display at all because well it says so like hey i want to have this so just click on it and then it does work what else did i do well just a few things first of all maybe a nice vignette here default values or whatever you want to have just to look nicer then a place let's say not this one uh, the image onto an asset layer of course you can make it with an instance layer doesn't really matter and then apply underwater make it really dark and have a small little movement here so this is then looking nice and then of course just don't do too much of distortion and here it looking neat uh, maybe let's go back to one then another thing if you like maybe put an underwater colorize it i don't know with some purple colors because once again this is kind of a horror element but of course colors are to your liking do whatever you think you want to have or maybe just go go with the desaturate and then just make it black and white why not this is definitely more atmospheric the less colors you are having and then um that's pretty much it and of course a little alternative here you can for example have um, on an asset layer um here the sun again and then run fraction noise through it of course here animation speed and then just, just some values hopefully it's seeable you got some stuff running through it and just doing a little bit bling bling to a kind of well, lifeless object and now it's having an additional animation which is looking fancy of course it's very subtle but it does look nice already so this is the well the the showing part how all that stuff works so how is the code part working so first of all i got two values which i will do here for example here for the rotation and then for closing in and out um which changing first of all on the panorama the x value here uh, with this little variable which will just update all the time in the step event and then for the perspective here also update the value and then 
um, just with small, small incremental values because uh, if you do it too fast, it looks silly. But of course, well, this is up to you. As you can see here, X value, if it's smaller, then, then update it. And if it's bigger, well, reset it to zero. Same for the perspective. Just, you know, looping those values up until they reach one and then just going back to zero. So the first one we can instantly set to a panorama direction. This is an array. How do you find those guys? Um, just go into the manual and go um, under parallax background. So for example, here, this is where I found it. And then um, you got four values. So once again, this, this, this is the X, Y value here. This is the more in and out cylinder. Not gonna do that. And then the sampler is basically the image which you wanna uh, set it to. Little interesting thing about the cylinder. We can actually play around with that. Yeah, let's do it. So let's go into the panorama and set it to a value of 0 0.6. Now we will have kind of a Mandela effect. Just kind of interesting. Uh, let's go away with the sun. Let's try again. So if you wanted to have kind of an infinite something effect, could be interesting for another thing. This is now now a Mandela. Of course, the higher resolution the graphics are, the better this will look. But I don't know, just for some quirky stuff. Why not? But of course, uh, let's not do that. So we need to um, change and uh, change this um, effect layer. So how do we do that? First of all, we create our own effect layer. This is how, for example, how you could do it. Uh, call it filter panorama. This is, yeah. So this one, it's definitely to, uh, to address that. So here, this is a very specific keyword for that. And then uh, set the parameters. First of all, the image. So here are the trees. So to fix it once in the create events and to fix the cylinder, of course, we can just, I don't know, leave it to zero or whatever. It doesn't really matter because that's the default value. And here for the rotation here, once again, the set X value, just going to one and then going back to zero and then to one and again here for the rotation and the same for uh, for the more going in. But I thought like, hey, it if it's just, you know, going in and out, you know, this at the same speed, it kind of doesn't look dynamic. So I just did it, did it a little bit with an animation curve. So here I just created one and then just toggle between uh, three values, 0 0.1, 1.4 at the max, and then going back to 0 0.9. And then uh, you can, for example, do it, you know, in between. So it's going as fast and smooth in and out. I thought like, hey, if you do it like this, it will quickly go into the max value and then it will slower go back. So more score quickly in and slower out. And this is how that works. And we just, well, take uh, that channel, which we, of the animation curve, which we created, and then just, uh, well, have it here, grab the value and set it to the perspective. This is the, for the going in and out of the in quotations teeth. And then at the very end, we said, hey, layer set FX. So all the stuff which we are constantly changing. So rotation and the going in and out to our, um, well, struct, which we created at the beginning. So this dude here, and then uh, set it to the effect panorama. This is the layer, this one here on the left side, and this is how it works. Hopefully not too fast for you guys. If you have any well, questions or whatsoever, just go into the Discord, just download that thing and just play around. Um, I cannot give you the images at the sun, yes, here, but I guess this one, I'm not sure if this is not copyrighted, so I cannot give you that. Just play around and do with your own things. Alrighty, then that was it then from my side. Hopefully uh, an interesting exploration and uh, <laughs> exploitation of the effect layers, what you can actually do. Uh, a lot of things are possible. We can actually do the glow also. So the glow is not recommended because it's it's looking smoother, which is nice. But of course, the more light stuff you have, uh, the less well, horror in less horror it will look because you know you want to have it super dark. But of course, here once again, up to you how you want to have it. Alrighty, that was it then from my side. 
have a good one. One up, Indy.